In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a backflip on trampoline in five simple steps. Hi, my name is Chris Olson. I'm the creator of DIY Gymnastics, and I've been a gymnastics coach in Aspen, Colorado for the past 10 years. So DIY Gymnastics is a channel that exists on multiple social media platforms that is dedicated to high quality trampoline and gymnastics tutorials that can be done at home. If you guys like this video, I made a full online trampoline course that you can find here. And I'll talk more about that at the end of the video for any of you that are interested. Now, onto the video. Before we start, I wanna add a quick disclaimer to this trick. This is one of the very few tricks that you really should not be trying for the first several times by yourself on your trampoline in the backyard. Sure, there's tons of people that have learned it that way. And actually that is how I learned it as well. But my official position on that is that you really should make it into a gym with a professional coach with legit equipment like a spotting belt for your first several times until you have the trick pretty dialed and then go to your backyard and do it then. But let's move forward with the theory of this trick regardless. All right, keep in mind, this is for a backflip tuck or back tuck for short. And this is a backflip where your body is in a tuck position. Step number one, you have to have your arms up. In gymnastics, this is called a straight body position. And when you're bouncing, these are called straight jumps. Now you want your arms straight up and narrow by your head so that your arms are basically touching your ears. And there's two two big reasons for this. One is that your arms being up like this forces your chest to also stay up and not hunch down. This will give you a clean takeoff position. And reason number two, your arms will provide your knees when they tuck a finish line to get to. Without your arms being up, your knees don't know how far to tuck on their own and they just sort of get lost and they end up not tucking very hard. And this will result in your flip going slower. Step number two, do a mental countdown of your bounces. Now this can be out loud or silently in your head, but while you're bouncing, you should basically go three, two, one, flip. Setting the intention like this will prepare you mentally and physically to actually do the trick when the moment comes. Imagine the alternative where you just don't count at all and you're waiting for a good bounce and then midair during one of these bounces, you decide that you feel good and you give yourself about a half second to actually prepare and do the flip. Nine times out of 10, that doesn't go well. It's always best to prepare. Step number three, you have to look upwards. Almost universally, your body will follow where your eyes go. So in order to take advantage of that, in a backflip, when you get to that final bounce, the first thing that needs to happen is you want to look up at the ceiling or the sky. What should happen and what needs to happen at this moment is that your body needs to start following that, specifically in the form of your chest facing upwards. Some coaches teach you to look about 45 degrees upwards. I like over exaggerating this effect a little bit and looking all the way up. But either way, your chest needs to face upwards. Step number four, tuck your knees. In the previous video I did of the top five drills for backflips, one of those drills was tuck jumps, where you're just simply bouncing and tucking your knees up. This is where we're gonna need that. So once you've looked up and your chest is facing upward and your body has reached about the max height of its bounce, this is the moment where you have to tuck your knees into your armpits as hard as you can. In gymnastics, anytime you tuck, you want your knees to be apart from each other so that your knees don't hit you in the face. So knee your armpits very hard. This is where the momentum and the majority of the rotation of the flip is going to come from. And finally, step number five is a proper landing position. In gymnastics, this would be called a stick position. Basically, you want to land with your knees bent to about a medium degree, your arms sticking straight out in front of you, and your eyes looking directly forwards. Opening up from a tuck to this position should slow the rotation down and should ensure that you land with your chest up and balanced so that you don't land in an awkward half falling over position. Okay, so to summarize, the five steps of doing a backflip on trampoline are step one, make sure your arms are up. Step two, do a mental countdown. Step three is you look up and your chest faces upwards. Step four, when you've reached the peak of your bounce, you need to tuck your knees in very hard. And step five, when you open up at the end of the trick, make sure you open up into a proper landing position. And that along with my top five backflip drills is all you need to know to learn how to do a backflip on the trampoline. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I made an online trampoline course that covers both gymnastics and freestyle action sports related skills from beginner to advanced. And that can be found at diygymnastics.com slash action sports trampoline. I'll link that in the description as well. That course includes a seven day free trial. So definitely check that out. I also plan on making a similar course for all gymnastics events, boys and girls, levels one, two, and three. So rec levels. More on that can be found at my main website, diy-gymnastics.com. Also be sure to check out DIY Gymnastics on these social media channels for weekly content. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. See you in the next one.